There's no real typical day or even typical week. We're always responding to dramatically new challenges and opportunities. Working from 7.30 in the morning till 9 and 10 at night. A constant feature is the fact that there are, are far more needs than there is time in the day. Exit safe choice, as long as your tie pin isn't too high. You were the one who told me to put it there last time. It was so we have a great atmosphere in the office and staff bring their own skills and experiences. Uh, people are able to connect their own ideals and priorities with what happens here. And I think that has, has worked really well. We have a team where people are working hard, but also connecting to a sense of the meaning and value of the work they're doing. A little bit of India right in our office. So my involvement has generally been with the Foreign Affairs Committee. Most of the time what we're doing is studies on issues, but we also have the opportunity to host uh, delegations to hear presentations from visiting leaders. Through that process, we can make people's lives better. And, and that's why I'm here. We have the House of Commons here, obviously, where we debate bills, and in this area is the lobby. If we're in here, we're always ready to run into the House if something comes up that we need to be there. I might be back here, let's say, meeting with Amanda, who runs my office, and I'm trying to keep half an eye on what's happening on the screen so that I know, okay, I need to go into the House and ask a question to someone who's just finished their, their speech. When will this member stop standing up for what the Prime Minister tells him and actually start standing up for the people of Alberta? We have a great atmosphere in the office and people having good, fun relationships with each other, good rapport is totally compatible with a strong understanding of the need for structure and responsiveness. Thanks guys. Yeah. I often need to run to get from one place to another. The question period is at 2.15 every day and I'm usually there by 2.14 and 3 quarters. Try to be on time for Andrew Shear's first part burner of a question. I'm very involved in the Canada-Tibet Parliamentary Friendship Group and in an advocacy for people facing human rights abuses in Tibet. I have an intern in my office who's part of the Canada-Tibet Internship Program. So tonight is the big annual event that we have every year and that's a real blessing and a great opportunity. That service is animated by my family history. My grandmother was a Holocaust survivor. She was somebody who uh, could not speak for herself, but she survived because there were people within her own society that were drawing attention to the evil in Germany at that time. I want to be one of those people speaking for those who are not able to have their own voice heard. It's also my faith, my sense that every person has God-given value and worth. Family is more important to me than work. I do everything I can to stay in touch with my family, which means Skyping every day with my kids, I send my wife voice notes. It's a lot of sacrifice for the family of people that are in public office as well. I've got young kids. I try and make up for lost time when I'm home and we try and stay in touch while I'm here. Tell mommy I'll call her back later tonight, okay? Okay, bye, I love you.